here, back with another video. I am aware that my FLL table looks kind of a mess, almost none of the missions are reset, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about how you, yes you, can improve in FLL, no matter how many resources you have, no matter what kind of EV3 you have, whether you have an NXT and EV3 or the new Spike Prime, which I do have an opinion about and I'll make a video on that soon. Well, without further ado, let's dive right into this video about how you, no matter what situation you're in with FLL, can improve. Now, I'm not going to start this video with a master solution as to how you can improve in FLL in every possible way, because that's just not realistic. In reality, you have to understand that we all have different resources, and although it might not be the greatest situation to compete in FLL, you can still get great scores in FLL and a great deal in competition. In fact, I've seen many teams where even without any motors, teams could have scored more than what they scored at competition. So first, understand the position you're at and just accept it. Don't try to fight it, just accept it and move on. This is my FLL setup. And before I had all of this, all I had was just a simple base set from the EV3, like 31313 or something, base set. And that was honestly all I had. But as I got into FLL, I started buying more pieces. And now I have a ton of pieces everywhere. And before I never had all of this, but as I got more interested in the FLL, I got it. And in the beginning, I really honestly wasn't that great of a team. Like we didn't score that many points, although we did make it to states and the solutions weren't that good. I'll honestly admit that even the City Shaper missions weren't that good, but I've improved a lot. And this is my current set now. So although this looks like a base set, a big set, I might say, I want you to know that you don't need this to have a great FLL robot. I simply got it one year, I thought I would experiment it with, with it, so I bought the pieces. Although I do recommend getting a second medium motor. If there's anything that you want to improve about your piece collection, it is a second medium motor. I don't know why they don't include it in the base set, but a second medium motor for FLL is essential or it's not really essential, but it's extremely important because completing having only one motorized attachment to go in one run really isn't that ideal, although it can make a more compact robot in a better design. Two medium motors is kind of the way to go. So just make sure you got a second medium motor if you can get the money for that. So I am well aware with many of the comments that not everyone has what I have to build all this. But honestly, you don't need all of this. This was just simply my idea, and I saw the piece in my collection, and I thought, you know what, let's just build this. But as I said before, second medium motor, you just gotta have it if you wanna do extremely well. If there's one thing I want you to improve about your piece collection, it's the second medium motor. Because if you look at my robot, when you take this off, I have two medium motors in the front. And that is essential for FLL, because then I ha can have two motorized or two motors in one attachment instead of just one. And that transitions to attachments. Attachments, attachments, attachments. You really gotta get the attachments to save on time. It's not really improving from your si for resources on your situation, but if you want a really good fast time, I would highly recommend an attachment system. It doesn't even have to be drop on. The FLO expert, shout out by the way, he's a great channel, he has a really great dr not drop on attachment system and it works really well, especially as shown in his runs. All you need is a good mechanism and a good mind to succeed in FLO. You don't need all of these fancy pieces. Another thing to consider is passive attachments. I had one comment say, I only have two motors and I can't build anything like his EV3. It might not be like my EV3, but that's not to say that you cannot succeed in FLO. Passive attachments, if you're, not, if you're not aware, is an attachment where you don't really need a motor to run it. Here, you kind of do need the motor to lift the arm, but there are many, like slopes, one-way gates, that you absolutely do not need a motor for them to run and for them to score you points. If you don't know what I mean, I highly recommend checking out my Passive Technique series. And honestly, it's quite not finished. That was last year, and I think I've improved a lot as an FLL player as you can see from the difference in the run in my videos. So I might actually continue that series. It might not be finished. Stay tuned for that. As you all probably have seen in my run two video, and as I'll show you now, the robot itself 
can simply get onto the tire and when it lowers the arm, all it has to do is move forward to flip the tire. And then it can come back. It shows that even a mission that's hard for many teams, like the tire flip, can be solved for with passive techniques, just like the botcha mission. So if I take you guys over here on the table, all you need to complete the botcha mission is a simple slope. Also, I highly recommend putting these blue pins here because they'll save you a lot of time bending down and trying to pick up the pins. If you don't know, a slope gently encourages it upward. Therefore, the block falls down. You don't need a motor to complete this mission, and our team actually doesn't use it because it's really efficient to not use motors. Even with two motors, like we have, it might not be the best idea to use two of them for every single task because then you would never get all the mission stuff. For example, many of the missions we complete, including the botcha mission, driving through the pull-up bar, kind of, putting the cube in the crate, and the entire bench mission, to name a few, don't use motors in any way. And that's just really efficient. So even if you have no motors and you only have two, or if you have two motors to drive the robot, you can still get a lot done with only those motors. Now, I know it sounds really cheesy to say because this is a YouTube channel, but you've got to watch YouTube, other inspirational books, that kind of thing, seeing other teams even. Those all help a lot as to improving your FLL score, your resources, and your kind of FLL mind in a way. Because if you look at more robots, you will generally get an idea of what makes these robots succeed. At the beginning, I can show you a picture of my robot maybe sometime in my career video. I had no idea what I was doing, to be honest. I don't know how we made it to States. But the more I saw more YouTube videos and I got more inspiration and I just implemented more of my ideas, I got better. And now I have a close to almost max point robot run coming up for you guys soon. And I highly recommend just watching these resources, these books by all these amazing people, like the shout out to the FLO expert, Brickering, Flelp, they're all great and they work so hard and they create so many good videos and so much inspiration that's just open to you. You might not have all the resources or all the funding, but you know what? YouTube's free and you can get a lot from that. Another thing you should do to improve for FLO is actually get more feedback. And one of the greatest ways to do that is YouTube, just like I did when I posted my first YouTube video. And I should take it down because it's not that great of a video. It was like a two beam attachment. But you know what? I kept it up. It was like a 23 second long video. It had no introduction, no background in music. It was just the robot running. And you know what? Some people gave me some really great advice and I decided to keep going. YouTube is really one of the greatest ways to get feedback. You can reach thousands of viewers, almost global viewers online. They can all give you great feedback and it's free. So there's no discrimination or biases in the information you get. I highly recommend you post probably one video to YouTube. I know not everyone may want to do it, but YouTube is one of the best ways to reach a big audience really quickly. Because if you share it with a team, you're only gonna share it with the people in that team. But if you type a video called like FLL Replay, you know what, people will find it. I have watched a lot of teams on YouTube and I've given feedback on a lot of the videos I've seen. So YouTube and sharing your ideas and getting feedback is one of the best ways to improve for FLL. Another thing about FLL is don't say, oh, I don't have the resources for this, or I just can't build anything as good as that. That's what I always thought. But you know what? Just turn that negative energy into positive energy. I like FLL because when you work so hard, there's no room for negative thought. There's only room for new ideas and inspiration. And the final thing I can tell you is kind of what this video is all about. Be resourceful. If you're not resourceful with your robot, then you won't be getting anywhere. You can't just spend missions and spend motors however you want. Keep improving. If you're not gonna keep improving, then what are you doing really? Because FLL is all about looking at your past design and saying, you know what, I can do better than this. I can't tell you the amount of times I'd have to tear apart my designs and create new ones. But you know what? They were always better than the last one. Or <laughs> not always. I gotta show you guys my scrap bucket. It's full of garbage ideas that I just kind of threw away. Speaking of garbage ideas, no idea is garbage. If you have an idea, I highly recommend you try it. 
Not all of my ideas work either, and not all of them are efficient. But you know what? If you look at some of my old videos from the replay season, the mechanisms I use have almost completely changed. Almost none of them stayed the same since the beginning of the season start. And I highly recommend you just keep improving. And that's what FLL is all about. So with that, I'm signing off for now. And this was the Wordy Nerd 48 channel, bringing you pretty good content on YouTube. I hope you subscribe if you liked it. Also, leave a like to let me know.